In this video, we're going to look at the contacts tool inside of your Planning Pod account. The contacts tool is basically the address book for your account, and you get to it by clicking on contacts in the main, main navigation bar. Um, contacts are pretty much um, anybody you need to store um, contact information for. They could be the users on the account, staff members, contractors, clients, volunteers, committee members, um, anybody who, who you need to store contact information, this is where you would put them. Um, you can add a contact manually by clicking on the add contact button. Uh, you would just fill out some basic information here and once you've done that, their profile is created and this is what their profile would look like. In this contact, I've already added some information here, but basically you can add a thumbnail image for a contact if you want and that thumbnail image will display uh, throughout the application wherever you're using that contact. You can add um, unlimited email addresses to each contact by just clicking on the add button. You can also add phone numbers, you can add website URLs, you can add a snail mail addresses. You can actually attach files to a contact, pretty much any kind of file. You can just click on the file to download it. You can add notes and then finally you can tag your contacts. Um, and there is another video on how to use tags, but by tagging contacts, you can basically run searches for them. Um, here, you can also control the um, access that this contact, contact has to your account. So here is where you could assign them to one of the four user groups on your account. And again, we have another video for that. You can also add contacts by clicking on import export and you can import from other applications like Google or Salesforce or MailChimp. You can import from a CSV file um, or you can also import from a VCF or vCard file. Um, you can also export your contacts um, to other applications, again, like Google or Salesforce or to a CSV file right here. And uh, finally, if you click on more, um, if you've got duplicate contacts, you can manage duplicates there. If you just need to be able to filter uh, for the contacts that are on screen right now, you can just start typing in either a person's first or last name or maybe even their business name or title and it will run a filter for the contacts that are on screen right now. If you need a more advanced search, just click on the advanced search button. Um, we've got a variety of fields that you can search for. One very important one is the tags field. So let's say you've tagged some contacts with the vendor tag and also with the caterer tag. Um, this way you can basically run searches based on what you've tagged your contacts so that you can view like here all of the caterers that are in my account that I've added. You can click on show all to go back to showing all of your contacts. Now we're gonna take a look at how you can add contacts on the fly, say in your events. So I'm going to go into my own events. I'm gonna click on the assign contacts sub navigation right there. Here are contacts I've already assigned to the event. If I click on manage, um, here Daniela is the contact we're working on. We can assign a contact we've already added to our contacts list this way. Um, but you can also, and see I assigned her there, but you can also add a new contact by clicking on the add new contact once you fill out this information, not only is this person assigned to this event, but they are also added to the main contacts list. Once you've added a contact or assigned a contact to an event, um, you, you can do a variety of things with them. For example, in the itinerary tool, um, if you go into an itinerary item, um, you can add a contact that you've already assigned to the event, to the itinerary, and you can also, in that create new contact button, add a contact on the fly right here. Um, another example is in the to-dos tool. Um, I'm gonna open up one of my to-dos that I've created for this event, and I'm gonna click on update. Um, I can assign a contact that I've already assigned to the event, or I can create a new contact on the fly. Once I create it here, not only is it assigned to the event in this to do, but it's also added to the main contacts list. Another good example would be in the proposals section. Um, I'm gonna go into one of my proposals and um, open that up. Um, in the client area, if I click on edit, I can um, add one of the contacts that's already in my list right here. Or again, I can click on the create new contact to create a contact on the fly that's added to this proposal and then also added to my main contacts list. So that's how you can use contacts in your account, but uh, please do let us know if you have any additional questions.